Oh, it's good to be on a little bit of a little road trip, go to college, maybe check any college out, see what uh, see what might uh, happen. I'll be even taking a course in broadcasting. But uh, it's a little bored. I'm gonna ask my parents to see if they want to see a movie. Yeah. Hey, uh, hey, Dad. You want to see a movie? Go. Cool. What do you want? What do you want to watch? What? The Expendables two. Mom's not gonna like that. I'm lazy and 99 I am a Batman fan And I'm a Canadian man I do top 10 lists And I eat ketchup chips Hey everybody, Lazy Ninety Nine here. I'm here in uh, in a city, and I'm uh, going to I'm checking me going to be checking out a college tomorrow to see if I uh, take a course in broadcasting. And so while we were here, me and my my dad and my mom, we were all thought, let's check out a movie. And the movies that my mom wanted to see were uh, already playing. So my dad, I don't know how he talked her into it, but he talked her into seeing The Expendables too. Uh, so this movie, oh, how, where do I start with it? Uh, starring, uh, well, it's, it starts with Esther Stallone, it starts Arnold Schwarzenegger, Chuck Norris, Jason Statham, uh, Dolph Lundgren, and a bunch of, uh, Lucy Liu, and a bunch of other people, uh, and they, in The Expendables. Now, let me just say, I had not seen the first Expendables movie, and so I was just like, you know what, <laughs> When my dad was like, come on, let's go see it, let's go see it. Uh, I was like, you know what, even though I haven't seen it, I'm guessing it's probably not too deep of a story that I need to see the first one in order to see the second one. And you know what, I was right. I uh, I got in and it didn't look like I was, I missed a thing. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Let me just start by saying that it's, for a movie like The Expendables, it's, Appealing to the inner kid in, you know, kind of like my age group. Because when we saw action movies, these were the guys we saw. Well, I didn't really see much of Sylvester Stallone. But I saw Arnold Schwarzenegger and Bruce Willis and... I, I didn't see Chuck Norris. But, you know, I saw Jason Statham too. Um, not really much of my childhood. But, you know, these were the big action stars. And here they are all in one big film. It's it's loud. There's explosions. There's blood. There's guns. There's stupidity. There's bad acting. There's awesome villains. There's cool stuff. There's big guns. There's stupid lame lines. There's cool lines. It's everything in a nutshell. <laughs> So the story goes like this, you know, the the Bruce Willis says, you owe me a favor, because of, I assume, stuff that happened in the last movie, and so they say, okay, so they go to pick up this little, little box, and Lucy Liu comes along, joins the team, and then they come, ac they come across Van Damme, and no, I'm not going to say Van Darn, because that's his name, uh, and Van Damme is the villain in this movie, and... Basically, he uses this box and kills one of his uh, Sylvester Stallone's men right in front of him. And then flies away and goes, oh, bye. And then um, that's the rest of the laws. We go find them, track them, kill them. You know, and so they're all up, they're all mad, and they're going to go kill Van Damme. And, um, <laughs> yeah, guys, this is the definition 
of a mindless action flick. Okay? It is. It is. Com there is no story. There is no acting, really. And there, there's just nothing to it. But on the other hand, there's all this action. And a lot of it's kind of cool. And it's a lot of it's kind of interesting. And, you know, they, they, these characters are doing cool stuff. And you're just like, wow, that's kind of interesting. And, you know, stuff is blowing up. And people are shooting. And knives are being thrown this way and that. People are doing kung fu. And, you know what? You know, it's kind of fun to watch. But on the same hand, let's just say, since it's a mindless action flick, there's no weight to these characters. Like, there's only... The, the one character that dies in this film from the, the good guy team, I'm just like, huh. They're giving him a backstory, and they're kind of putting a lot of attention on him. Two things are going to happen. Either he's going to become one of the main characters... Along with, uh, you know, Jason Statham and Sylvester Stallone, he'll be the third, kind of like... He'll be like the Matt Damon of the Ocean's Eleven group. He's the third character. There's Brad Pitt and George Clooney, then there's Matt Damon, who's the third character. Like, I thought either he's going to be the third character, or he's going to die. And he died. And I'm like, well, call that. And, and you know, there's no... You, you see these guys, and there's hundreds upon hundreds... Upon hundreds of these bad guys, and they're just going in there. I mean, there was this one shot where these guys were running out of the door, and I'm actually seeing stuff blow up, not like blow up, I mean like bullets hitting behind the guy. I'm actually seeing bullets hit things behind the guy, and I'm just like, wow. And, uh, you know, and, you know what? It's. <laughs> oh, I know some people are going to go in here and they're just going to like, that was the most awesome thing ever! There were so much explosions, so much this, so much that, and... You know what, the one thing that I'll admit this movie for not doing, which I'm glad they did, they didn't have a pointless nudity scene for absolutely no reason. I'll applaud it for that, but <laughs> it's not that great, guys. In fact, if it wasn't, let me just say, if you didn't have Arnold Schwarzenegger, Bruce Willis, Sylvester Stallone, Jason Statham, and all these other guys in the same movie, this movie would have been very, very forgettable. I will say this, the best quality of this movie, Van Damme. And I, don't, I never thought I'd say that about a movie, but he played a great villain. Okay, and I'm not even like he plays a great cheesy villain. No, no, no. This guy can play a real villain, and he he plays menacing well. He plays fun menacing well, and it, and it's and he's really good at it. I was like, whoa, this is awesome. He's awesome. Van Damme, I will admit, best actor in this film. Because and I <laughs> can't believe I'm saying that, but you know what? I almost wish I almost wish that if we took all of Van Damme's old films and made him not the hero and made him the villain they probably would have been better films. I'm just saying, because he plays that villain really well. He's having a great fun time with this movie. And I, I, think he, I think he can be like a Mark Strong guy, you know? Just plays villains, bad guys in mo action movies. And you know what? I think he can pull that off. I think we, he can play a terrific villain. And he played a good villain in here, but he, there's just not much to work with. I mean... He made his character fun and his, and menacing, even though his character did not have that much to work off of. You know, once again, nukes, nuclear bots. I am, I'm sorry, but I am sick and tired of bombs being part of the catalyst or the, the main attraction in the movie. I am sick and tired of nukes. I am, I'm sorry, get something else. You know what, the last time I was afraid of a missile or of a, some nuclear device or whatever, the last time I was ever afraid of what could happen with a missile was The Rock. Because that's when they should add those like dissolving things that dissolved a person's face into pure nothingness. And then like they dissolved like acid. It was, that was, it was disturbing, it was frightful to see that, to think that would happen to thousands upon thousands of people. That would be... That would be horrific. But I'm just tired of nukes, guys. I haven't found nukes 
menacing or terrifying since Judgment Day, Terminator 2. But to, to get, uh, I want to touch on Chuck Norris because he really feels like he's not supposed to be in this film. I mean, it felt like he just heard about this stuff, showed up on set one day, grabbed a fake gun, started shooting things, and the camera member like, what the heck? And, you know, they recorded stuff because he's not really with the team. He just shows up and is just like, bam, 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 bam. see you later. Then the climax happens. Bam, 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 bam. And he's back again. And he's and it's just like, hey, how's it going? See you later. I mean, he's, <laughs> it's like, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's awesome that he's in here because of all the Chuck Norris jokes and stuff. But, <laughs> but he's, he's felt like he's just thrown in here and doesn't really belong in the movie. But maybe that's part of the thing where, you know, it's just, it's a mindless action flick. And I'll give it that. It's a mindless action flick. I will say, though, but since the acting isn't top-notch or the characters are that great, um, none of the action feels like it has any weight to it, and none of the characters feel like there's any depth to them, and that they, they're, they're, they're really pretty forgettable. But, uh, you know, this, this is pretty forgettable of a film. And as I say, if it wasn't these big actors, this probably would have, people would not be ah, all over this. It, it was just be, but the thing is, it is these big actors, and we get like, there's a great line where Arnold Schwarzenegger and, uh, I just love this because this made me laugh out loud in the theater, where Arnold Schwarzenegger and Bruce Willis are shooting, and these no Schwarzenegger's like, I'm out, I'll be back. And he's like, you've been back enough, I'll be back. And Bruce Willis leaves. And then Arnold says, yippee ki -yay. Oh, man, that made me laugh. I just, you know, because I got it, okay? I got it. And, uh, but, to be honest, it is just a mindless action flick. If you feel one day you're like, hey, you know what? I don't really need a plot or something. Go ahead, go ahead and see it. Go ahead and see it. But, you know what? It's pretty forgettable. Even though there's lots of action scenes, you just really get desensitized about mindless number of goons going <laughs> over and over again. Uh, I will say there was one part that I laughed hilarious at that my mom looked at me. Is when they're shooting, these guys are raiding a village, and then they, the Expendables crew comes out and starts shooting them, and they kill them all. And then they all come together, and one last goon walks out, and they're like, there's one left! And they all turn and shoot him. Like, oh. A, like five guys with all these guns that shoot like a bajillion bullets a second and they all like all shoot this one guy I'm like <laughs> overkill much I laugh but you know as I say it's a mindless action flick if you think you'll enjoy a mindless action flick go ahead go see it but if you don't well then yeah it's just if you prefer that there actually to be a story which I kind of do you can skip the Expendables. It's expendable. Give it a red shirt and send it on its way. So, uh, I don't have my laser gun here, uh, but I am going to give the Expendables a 4.5 out of 10. Because, you know what? It's kind of below average. But, you know, it's still a kind of a... It's a fun, mindless action movie. It's the definition of a mindless action movie. Except for Van Damme. Dude, be Somebody hire him as a villain in their movie because I think he can do a great job with it. So remember, guys, I'm Lazy Dude 99, and if I don't like it, it's not worth it. Adios, amigos. Be sure to check out more of my other videos on my channel, and wait for more coming soon.